السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Welcome students to At-Tariqة Nuraniyة We are very happy to have finished the first lesson on the Arabic letters Today is a special lesson on the Makharij or the Makharij which means the articulation or the home from which the letters sound is produced as you can see the letters uh, the the lesson's title is al huruf al qariba to makhrajan neighboring letters roommates what does that mean that means letters that come from the same place right they share the same place but there are some things that make them slightly different than other letters so there are nine groups of letters uh, that are that come from similar places. Let's cover them, inshallah. Bismillah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So these are the groups of letters with the same makhraj. So let's cover group number one. Let's say the letters together. Fa. Wow. Ba. Meem. Okay, what is similar between these letters? Well, their makhraj, their home, and that is they all come from the lips, right? Fa, use the teeth and the bottom lip. Fa, this one, use the lips. Wa, wa, wow. So the fa, use the teeth and the lip. Wow, you use both lips only. Wah, wah, wah. So we're going to be focusing a lot on the sounds in this lesson, right? So, f, fa, f, f, f. make the sound. Right? This one. Wah, wah, wah. Mm. Whoa. This one. B, 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 b. And this one, m, 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 m. Mm -hmm. So, to pronounce, produce the sound of these letters, what we're going to do is, <clears throat> we are going to place Hamza Fatha before the letter, right? Hamza Fatha, which is a. So we're going to take that a sound. And we're gonna, we are going to apply that to each of these letters. So fa, if you place the a before it, look, f, say, f, f. That's the sound. Wow. Ow, 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 ow. Ba, ab, ab. Mim, m, m. So this is how we know the sound of each letter so all of these come from the lips group number two let's read it da 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 ba okay what's similar between these letters they all come from front front flat part of the tongue hmm? right which is called thoughtful listen against what against the root of the upper teeth against the roots of the upper teeth <coughs> they come from the roots of the upper, tongue against the roots of the upper teeth so let's put the ham ass on before it for that at 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 add Add, add, add. Pa, up, 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 up. So this is how we know they come from the same place, same home, but there is of course differences between them, which we will get to later. Third group. Let's pronounce them. The, the, the. What's similar between them? Again, their home. 
let's put uh, which is what which where, where did it come from again front flat part of the tongue against the tip or the edge of the upper teeth right so fa f f val av av va same place group number 4 let's pronounce them jim sheen yeah okay they come from the middle of the tongue against the middle of the upper palate. So let's put Hamza before them, add sound before them. Adj. Adj. You see, it touches. Adj. Adj. This one. Ash. Ash. It's tight. Yeah. Ay. 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 It's much more easy. Group number five. Let's pronounce them. Ha. Ayn. Okay, where do they come from? They come from the middle of the throat, where the epiglottis moves back towards the back of the throat, right? And constricts the passing of the sound and the air, right? Let's put before this ha ah ah ain ah ow ah ow okay group number six let's pronounce them ho hoin ho hoin again the yeah sound do not produce a nasal sound. Rain. Good. Rain. Right, very good. Now, but where do they come from? They come from the top part of the throat, right? Where the root of the tongue raises against the uvula and produces a sound. So we have one. Let's put the ass on before it. Very good. Group number seven. Let's pronounce the letters. Lam, Noon, Ra. Raise the back of the tongue, make it heavy. Ra, Ra, Ra. Lam, Noon, and Ra. Right, they come from the same home with slight differences, and I will tell you what the differences are. They come from the front, front flat part of the tongue against the front part of the upper palate. Now, the front palate is between the teeth and the ridges. If you raise your tongue and touch the top, in the front we have ridges. So that front part portion is a small one. That's where these letters come from. So we have this letter. This comes from right after the teeth, right after the roots of the teeth, in a place called litha. And we say, lamb, let's put a before it. L. L. You see, my tongue is right after the teeth. L. L. And you see, L, L, the sound escapes on the sides. L, L, noon, let's put A before it. N, 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 N. What happens is that the tongue moved up a bit, away from the roots of the teeth. And 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 even the sides closed, the sound goes back and comes from the nose. And and <laughs> and this one. Ra, ar, 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 ar. 
Arr. Arr. Now I repeated it to just to show the sound. Arr. You see the tongue moved even further up from the noon even. So lamb is closer to the teeth, noon a bit further away, ra more further away, right? And this one, arr, 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 arr. right? Yeah. So that one, it is suspended against the upper palate. Let's move on to group number eight. Let's pronounce them. <clears throat> Za, seen, sod, sod, sod. Good. Where do they come from? They come from the tongue placed between behind the, the bottom teeth right some scars that can see the the tip of the tongue placed behind the bottom teeth but uh, the sound comes from between the tongue now and the and the the empty space between the teeth and the tongue as soon as you put the tongue behind and you close the teeth, there's this pocket, and that's where the sound is produced. Let's put um, a before it, za, as, 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 a lot of commotion, a lot of air, a lot of movement of air between the tongue and the teeth, as, as. Seen as as sod as as. Now, what's the difference between as and as? Well, the back of the tongue is raised, but the lips remain the same. As 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 as. And last group, Hamza and Ha. Um, sorry, go ahead. Hamza, ha. Okay. Now, of course, they come from the bottom of the throat, where the vocals are. Now, Hamza, uh, uh, right? If you put Hamza a uh, before it, so we say, Say that. What's happening in my vocals? The two tissues are constantly going against each other. A pause, a, a, a cutting sound, uh, and the ha, so in this one the vocals are far from each other, I mean they're not far from each other, they're close to each other, but they're vibrating and this heavy sound is created. That the dense sound. Uh, uh, okay. So this is a group of letters, right? And this should teach you the makhraj or the sounds of the letters uh, properly. We we'll see you in the next lesson, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.